Hi. So, I have another um, Kickstarter campaign puzzle that I want to share with you. And it's called The Glitters, The Happiest Puzzle in the World. And let me just play this video and then after that I'll go in detail of what I think and what all the rest of it is. So let's go now. Meet Greeners, my brand new crazy puzzle! Hi, I am Balash, and I am the inventor of Greeners. To solve Greeners, you need to rotate the gears to align all faces. This is very difficult because every gear rotates 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 other gears depending on the current orientation. Can you solve it? I manufacture, assemble, test and ship every piece. Please help this project by spreading the word to your friends and family. Thank you! Get yours and solve it now! Okay, so, uh, I found this the other day and I was just searching up puzzle, and I saw this, and I was thinking, okay, that's cool. And, um, when I was, I was like the, um, uh, 35th backer or something like that, 37th, 36th backer or something like that, and it still had 49 days to go. And, uh, well, I, the creator of this, um, uh, one thirty three thousand six hundred and seventy six Australian dollars. Since he, um, in Melbourne, Australia, so that seems like the way that this is going is just a little underestimated, but still, it's like at twenty seven percent funding. Um, and in the end of the video, he said that he test, uh, manufacture and ship, um, all the puzzles himself. So, I know how that feels. Because as of me making my Nightmare Band scheme, which, uh, I haven't made that many in the past few years. Because what I currently have made, uh, still hasn't been sold and I still really hasn't got around to making, uh, more, like, currently building more with the cubes that I bought. So, and, like, taking, it takes, like, about, maybe, 10 to 15 minutes to build a Nightmare Bandage cube, and, so, with him, if it takes him, like, about, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to, uh, laser cut each other parts, assemble it all, um, before shipping it out, so, multiply that by, like, several hundred, um, uh, orders for it, and that can be overwhelming, no, so it can take, like, a, a while to actually go through all of them. So, um, what I know is, is a puzzle that you twist the gears and if you see in this, uh, gift that some of the gears, um, have empty spaces where there's no teeth. So with that said, it will not move, uh, the one gear, um, when you're spinning another one. So, and so that's a little tricky. And the goal of this is to align all the gears so that the, uh, faces on the actual gear, uh, match up with the holes of the, um, outside layer casing of it. And I put this one, so it's like, um, the super early bird, um, uh, which is, like, Australian dollars, 15 dollars, Australian. So, yeah. That's actually good. So, uh, and, He's like saying, 
basically all this text document and stuff is basically exactly what he said in the um promotional video up there so it's like um yeah so and blah 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 whatever that said and there's that um yeah and then rotating only one gear in mixed grinder is so crazy bad that you won't find a way back in hours if you ever tried the Rubik's cube you know this feeling it looks so simple but it's really not yeah it it does look simple but with the um t uh missing on some of the gears and in certain positions and stuff that will affect what gears turn um at what position when you're turning certain other gears though and if you see in this one with uh there's this gap of no t um and then these other ones are turning while this one doesn't turn um yeah uh, and then yeah so grinders is a very hard puzzle to tell the truth i haven't solved it it even though i worked on it for several months if you like a challenge um uh, be on the fourth or have great logical talent grinders is best for you okay that's cool so and Durable materials, blah 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 about this. So there's some of the rewards right here. Now, which is kind of cool. Now, and if you um pledge, like you pledge like twenty five dollars for one grinder. Early bird price is 19. Uh, super early bird price is 15. Two grinders, 48. Five grinders, 109. Ten grinders is 179. A hundred grinders is 14,999. What? 1499. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then the timeline was in April 2020, he had the idea for it. April slash June, like April through June, he designed it. Uh, media preparation was June through July, so that was around the time, like in this design process and stuff, he was designing it and then got his first, um, uh, one produced or made uh Kickstarter August through October twenty twenty. Fulfillment survey will come out in October twenty twenty. Manufacturing November twenty twenty. Shipping December twenty twenty. Um so he estimates that this should be You'll send out all these, um, by the end of this year. And that's actually a really rough estimate, in my opinion. Because, just think about, um, uh, this when there's these, like, let's say, like there's, um, uh, 25 pledges for the, uh, 100, um, the highest, um, reward here, which is this one. So, if there's 25 backers for this tier, so, you would have to make 2,500 grinders. And, that's like, a lot of work. So, for him. Since he's doing it himself. No. And that's like going to be a lot of stress for him. And I don't know what um, tools he had 
Um, and what it looks like is that this one is made out of like laser etched acrylic. So, yeah. And you can, depending on the size of it, um, machine, um, like laser cut and machine, um, uh, and the size of the area of acrylic that you can put on there, so you can like maybe, uh, put out like several batches of these main face plates, uh, several batches of gears at once, though, so, and that could be done easily, like within like a day or two, and then the assembly part can be tricky and time consuming at all as well. And so overall there's that. And the campaign itself is actually really simple and well thought out in my opinion. And it gets point across. It tells you exactly what this is and how he's doing it. Though and all that. Without going into full, like, technical, detailed explanation of, like, how this thing works, and all this other media garbage, and, and even in some other story campaigns that I've looked at and seen, where they put, like, a really long, um, campaign page, with a lot of text and videos and images in it, and some of them have been, like, where they repeated the same information uh, by trying to explain it in several different ways but get the trying to give you the same uh, information by telling you it in different parts of the campaign. It's like it may be like up at near the top of the campaign it says okay this is blah blah um uh, will do blah blah and then going down it would be like explain okay you can do tell it to blah 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 and it's like saying okay it does the, this was like explain what it does several different ways um uh, yeah and also this looks like one of those puzzles that could be made out of like uh plastic metal and wood. So, and even, let me show you one thing about this that I've seen. That in the comments um, section, um, this Destiny Murray um, said that I think you should contact Puzzle Master um, for more exposure. They like independent puzzle makers and I want this Kickstarter to succeed. Okay, that I totally agree. I've ordered from uh, them before from the master like one. And that's through the Amazon um, shop, which I ordered a few puzzles um, on Amazon a few years ago. And these were like somewhat rare puzzles. I did not know at the time that that was being shipped uh, from Puzzle Master and hey that was awesome and at the same time I've been following Puzzle Master getting their email update about what new puzzle for the past five six years stuff like that and been following them and they've had a lot of good stuff like this uh, and similar puzzles to the grinder though and also if um the designer creator um goes and talks to like some company like would say Hanayama or uh some other um puzzle company the like bits and pieces as well is another good one. Uh, then he can actually get even further and more expand 
expanding than just him working days and hours on just assembling and like cutting, like setting his machines, cut out all the pieces, uh, and stuff like that, all at him, all for himself at home, which that can be tiresome. But with a bigger company, they have like uh, five, six, seven, ten machines in one room doing the same operation, and then those pieces get sent to another for the factory where the assembly happens and all this other stuff. So it's a lot uh, quicker that way and stuff like that. So yeah. And yeah, this is just my look at the grinders puzzle. Which I'm hoping that it actually gets funded. Cause I'm eager to try this. And when I do get it, if this um campaign actually gets fully funded by the end of this year, I'm like happy. But sounds like that he would need all this money just for materials and um, other stuff like that, which, okay, that's cool, and that's good. Yeah, it's like getting funded for the material to build these, it's good, because some people don't have enough money to buy all the material in order to get certain projects going when they have the idea for it. 